If you guys would like to see how I created this beautiful DIY king size puppet and board and foot board, you can continue watching. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. Hey guys, welcome back to the Morgan's family. This is your girl, Brina. This is your boy, Tommy. Well, today we are here for the big project that we said we have for you guys. So it's gonna be a DIY king tufted egg board and footboard. So we're gonna give you, tell you a little bit of, um, tell you about the materials that we put in place. Okay, so here we, as you see, walk on the layout, this is our sheet of Fireboard that we use is going to be the main support for the the head the headboard. Mm -hmm. So this is the finish design that we put in. We cut it to cut it to size. We also make our diamond shape and we insert our holes on the board right throughout to where we're going to design. Where we're going to put the button. Buttons. So here we got. Oh, first and foremost, in every project. You have to know safety is the number one priority. Yes, so, first. Yeah, yeah, I will protect, protect your eyes from dust and any fine particles to get in your eyes. And we got our tools here. This is our circular saw, very unique, battery operated, very easy to work with. And our drill, right we here, that we use to make the holes. Oh, here we have our stapler, let's call it stapler that we're going to use to staple the material onto the board. And we got our tape measure to do our measuring on the board that we use it. And you got our electrical cutter. This is a... Um, electric uh, cutting knife. Electric cutting knife. We're going to use right that here. for the sponge. This we're going to use, use on the sponge. So when we lay it on the supported backboard, we cut it in shape. So we have the corner braces for the footboard. So the footboard, we got four pieces of side footboard. They're right here, and we got our back supported boards, which is right here. We have four pieces of these also that we're going to use in our project. Yes, yeah, so the corner braces is for the footboard, and we have um, the heavy duty top plates is for the, the legs. Like all the legs in place. And here we got our the diamond button. Diamond buttons. Right here. And we got have our thread and needles. And needles the thread the buttons. We got our spray. Adhesive. Adhesive spray. This is what you want to use to hold this the sponge, sponge onto the fireboard the when we um, put in, putting it together. And we also have this uh, fabric. Um, it's a weed control fabric that we're gonna put it in the back of the headboard when you know the finish looks so you don't see the, the board. Right, and here I have our material. It's gonna have the final touch of the design that we wanna finish up with. And here, last but not least, we got our ruler that we use to make our lines along our design that we, we, we draw on the back of this fireboard. Oh, and I also forget about we have the batting. We're going to need the batting and uh, our sponge. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'll see you in the field. So guys, we're going to get started. We're going to um, use the spray adhesive to spray on the board so we could glue the sponge down.
have the first piece of sponge down. We're gonna use three pieces. It's a full size sponge and it's uh, one fourth inches. You can use whatever size you wanna use, um, but we're gonna use three pieces. So we get the first piece down and I'm gonna put the other two piece on and then I'll see you back when I'm done with the other two pieces, okay? Hey guys, I'm back. Unfortunately, I didn't get to finish our project because I ran out of spray adhesive, so I went and got some, and now the sponge is down. I cut out the holes already while Abby was at work, and when you cut out the holes, you gotta make sure you see the ones that you, you um, do in the ply board. So you have to make sure you can see the holes. And I also put a slit um, like right between the between the holes so you cut out the diamond shape and make sure you don't cut all the way through to the hole just halfway okay so um, I'm gonna get the batting on and the material and show you how to um, put the button ends and I'll be right back well now we almost at the end of our project we have nine percent completed so now we're going to demonstrate how we actually get our button into the design that we have. So as in the previous part of the video, we showed the holes that we make. So now we have our holes here and then we're going to string it through. We want to demonstrate where we insert here. Then we go straight in Then we pull the string. Once you get the string under, once you get the string under, this is where the string comes out through the hole. This is where the string comes out. That's where it's eventually do the the design for for the for the bed, for the, the, the headboard. See, as you apply the pressure onto the string, it gives you the the design you want. So now we're gonna staple the design underneath so there's one give me the tension that needed good We just have this little area left to close at the bottom, so we're gonna close the sides first. I'm gonna close this side first. So, all that in. So now we're gonna flip it over and seal the back. All right, so we're gonna seal the back. So this is how we do it with the first, when we cover the sponge on the front of the bed head. This is the back end and this is where we're gonna seal it. So we fold along. So the, when, after we put the sponge and we put the batting, then we put the material, we staple the sides and then this is how the back looks and this is how um, the weed control fabric comes in place. We use it to, see, to cover the back 
so you don't see the staple or anything that you know look out of place. So I'm going to show you how we you know we staple it. So the airport pieces, um, the back piece is sealed, the front is completed. And then we're gonna, this is actually the footboard. I'm gonna show you how we close that, the back of it, so. Okay, so we're gonna get um, put the sides together and put the legs on and we're gonna set it up and we'll be right back we're back with the finished product guys look at it how beautiful is it we have in the we put the corner brace in and the top plates for the legs and the sides are in so everything is all completed so guys this is for a recliner king size bed that's why we don't have the the, for the bed itself in place. The, yeah, for the plate. So guys, if you want to make it, you'd have to get another piece of board to put here and then you put in your, what you call those? Base plate? Um, board, base board. For the base board. Okay? So guys, yes, what inspired me to make this bed is because I upgraded to a king size bed. And when I went in the store to buy this piece, with a dresser, two night table, and a nightstand, it was over $5,000. So that's what inspired me to make this bed. Cost saving. Yes. So we make it on a budget. And I'm gonna put in the description box down below all the material I use, where I got them from, and how much it costs us to make it. Free labor. So yeah, guys, this is the finished product. This is the end of our video. In, um, in my next vlog, I could show you my room tour with how my bed set up. But at first, I have to change the color of my old furniture. So later on, I'll show you everything. The new look better. Yes, the new look. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And thanks to all my subscribers for the love and support. We love you. And we did this together. Teamwork make the dream work. Right? Amen. Mwah. So please remember to share, like, comment, and hit that notification bell for the next upcoming video. Peace. Oh.